Now that we've completed the number of chains that we need to make our foundation row for our headband or our air warmer, we're ready to learn our first stitch. The first stitch I'm going to show you is called a single crochet. To do this stitch, we're going to skip over one chain and we're going to insert our hook into the second chain from the hook. And we do this so that it lifts the work up to the proper level to keep our edges straight. So we insert our hook into the second chain from the hook and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops. Now we're not going to skip any more. So we'll do our next stitch in the next chain, this one here, and we'll insert our hook into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. And we'll do that one more time into this next chain. So we go to the next chain, insert our hook into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both of the loops. And we're going to do this in each chain all the way across. Once you get to the end of your row of chains, I'm going to go into my last chain here and do the single crochet. And then we're going to chain one at the end of every row. This again lifts it to the correct height so that we have our straight edges. And we're going to turn our work and to, we'll begin to crochet in the opposite direction into this first stitch here. Not the chain, but this stitch here and do our first single crochet going the opposite direction. Now this is a good time to talk about the front loop and the back loop. Some patterns will tell you to crochet through the front loop only, that would be that one, or possibly the back loop only the one farthest away from you, and that creates a texture in your single crochet. But the default, if it doesn't tell you, is to go through both the front and the back loop for stitches. So we will crochet across the second row, going through both the front and the back loops and all the way across. And when we get to the end of this row, just like we just did, we'll do our last stitch and then we will chain one and turn and begin a new row. Now we've completed our second row. I'm doing our last stitch. Remember when we get to the end of the row, we chain one and we turn. And now we're going to begin our third row, going back into our first stitch. Do you see how the edges are even because we've been doing our chain ones? So we will begin our third row. And we're going to continue back and forth across. for 10 rows. Should, the stitches should look like this for you and I'll show you when we get to the end how we're going to finish off our headband.